Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video here today and another episode of my F1 2019 career mode and this is the penultimate race of season 5 here today for the Brazilian Grand Prix. If you guys missed the last episode then go watch it at USA by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of the screen guys to go see exactly what happened around the circuit of the Americas. But today we are here in Lagos, one of my favourite tracks on the calendar and you can see on the screen we have no rain expected this weekend so a dry forecast is what we have and in terms of our and of course we've maxed out the car so we're not currently looking at making any possible upgrades except for saving up points to purchase a bunch of durability components you know going into season number six but you can see the top three there very very close in terms of performance as we now jump into qualifying again not doing any practice because we don't need the points you know I, I did do practice I just haven't shown it in the video um, I did a couple of programs just to kind of keep the points up you know but uh, the, the, there's no need to kind of show you guys because it's not really relevant to the video anymore by the way jumping into qualifying and uh, we went for three runs in the session my best one being the very first one so uh, here we go on board for my best qualifying lap of the weekend here in Lagos and uh, straight away turn one a little bit wide missing the apex and uh, not the best time lap also turn two as well just running a bit too wide and uh, barely hitting the inside curb so not the cleanest start to the lap also getting onto the grass there for good measure and uh, we are up on Hulkenberg by half a tenth as we now make our way through turn four carrying the speed on the exit they're running a little bit wide but somehow not getting any validation yet yeah, I will get one for that later on for some reason now going up towards five and six these kind of double right handers which now feed into this kind of slow hair uh, slow speed hairpins and this is where all, it's all about mechanical grip and having a good car at low speed and last Lando Norris goes quickest for Haas there now into the second hairpin this time trying to pick up a late apex and trying to get a nice clean exit making our way downhill and uh, through the scene of the Largo down into the last break point of the lap three and a half tenths up currently on Lando as we get a relatively clean exit out the far corner and we now make our way along this kind of curved section onto the pit straight Hamilton now going P1 for racing point and we're going to run it close to the inside as, as we possibly can overtake mode engage and we do take P1 and go fast but then Russell knocks us off top off the off the top straight away in the Red Bull and unfortunately for us I wasn't able to improve my my next attempt I was two tenths up but then we had made a bit of a mistake going into the hairpin. The rear's locked a little bit. And I was kind of sliding along and I just lost time. And I just gave up. I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to save the fuel because I've got enough for another lap. And the tire wear is very minimal. So we slowed it, slowed it down, went for another lap. And then I was even faster this time around. But then I made the exact same error again. My rear's locked. And uh, we we're through a three tenths up and we lost it all, unfortunately. So I abandoned that attempt and went for one more effort. And uh, this time, for some reason, you know, on the exit of turn four, Two tenths up, and we ran a bit wide, and uh, we got no validation for that, even though we did the exact same thing on my first lap, and nothing happened. So, a bit of inconsistency when it comes to track limits on this game, and unfortunately for us, we didn't improve anymore. So, fourth place is going to be the end of the qualifying, and where we are going to be at the end of the session. Kvyat once again on the front row alongside Verstappen. That's kind of a, a thing that keeps repeating itself now, with George Russell in third, and we get fourth. So, overall, not too bad, I think. Pace-wise, I could have maybe got Russell. I'm not quite sure I would have been able to beat Kvyat. So, all in all, we only got one clean lap in, but it was still a good lap, and it was competitive enough to keep us in, on the second row ahead of Hamilton and Perez, who were right behind us in the racing points. But that is it for qualifying here today at Brazil, and uh, the penultimate qualifying session of the season is finished. We're now going to move into the race for round 20 of the season here into Lagos for the Brazilian Grand Prix. So let's jump into it, and let's see how we get on. As surely as the sun rises in the morning, the Brazilian Grand Prix packs out the grandstands and creates incredible drama. Title deciders, heartbreak, triumph and home glory. All these and more can be found in abundance here at the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. Now, can I get your take on Max Verstappen? They've had a fantastic campaign. It's been a wonderful year, and they come into this weekend's Grand Prix as a fully deserving champion. I agree it's been a truly impressive season, but championship or no, I don't think they'll be gently cruising around to the finish line. In fact, with points no longer a concern, there's a lot less to risk, so we may even see a more aggressive approach. 
It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Daniel Kvyat had a cracking day yesterday and will lead us off from pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Martinez, Hamilton, Sergio Perez, and Vettel, Norris, Gasly, Bottas, and Max Verstappen, Albon, Leclerc, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Raikkonen. Hulkenberg, Stroll, Kevin Magnussen, and Roman Grosjean. Sainz, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Right, so here we are on the grid for the Brazilian Grand Prix, starting from a third place. And Verstappen did pick up a penalty, so he's starting way down in 10th place. Therefore, Kvyat is on pole, and it's a 2v1 versus George Russell, which is fantastic for us. So we may have a chance here today to pick up some really big points if we can try and start well and hit the front. Either way, we're going to start on the soft tyres, move on to the mediums, and go for a very simple one-stop strategy. Tire wear is very low around here. And in terms of fuel, we are going to run one. Actually, we're going to go up to one and a half extra laps, because I feel like we can get away with that. And there is no rain expected here today. So a pretty straightforward task. The target, I think, has to be get a 1-2 finish. That would really help us out in both championships. But other than that, we're going to try and do our best. And fingers crossed we get both cars onto the podium. With that being said, let's jump into the race here for round number 20 and the Brazilian Grand Prix. Right, here we go. The lights are coming on here at Interlagos. Can we get a good start? Lights out and away we go. Both cars in front don't get away that well, and we're kind of boxed in. I actually got a really good launch off the line. I am going to be able to hold on to my third place. Kvyat and Russell side by side. Russell hits the front, which is not what we wanted. That was worst case scenario. I was hoping to be a 1-2 for us. Kvyat going for the re-overtake. I've got Hamilton behind looking for a move. Into turn four we go. These two side by side. Let's see if Kvyat can retake that position for us and uh, make it a lead position for Ferrari. They're going to go side by side into this section. This is going to be awkward. Got to be careful, they do touch tyres, but Russell gets in front and retakes first place. Let's see if we can keep the pressure on him and try and get past. I've got Lewis behind me, putting the pressure on in the racing point. But so far, so good, we kept our car in one piece. And it was actually a good start for a change, I just got boxed in. Otherwise, I would have actually had a chance of hitting the front. But lap one draws to a close, and so far, so good. Yep, we now have DRS. I'm not actually close enough to get DRS on my teammate. But I might be able to get a move on Russell here and take first place back, which is good for us. Haven't quite had the pace at the minute. I am struggling a little bit. We are, you know, putting away from Hamilton a little bit, but I just can't quite match the front two. But they're now battling, so this is going to be my chance to get back within DRS range, hopefully. Okay, that's a good lap from us. Across the line. Personal best. Looks like Gaz and Hamilton are battling behind us. That was a much better turn one from me, much more tidy. And uh, we're now well within DRS range. I'm going to give it a couple of laps, see if Kvyat can make a move on Russell. If not, we're going to try and get past our own teammate. Here goes Kvyat. He's going to go for a move. No, he doesn't. He hangs back for now. Keeping the pressure on Russell, who still hangs on to the lead. But we are knocking on the door. I'm just trying to sit back and stay at a reasonable range. But let's see if Kvyat goes for it again here. Down towards turn four. Looks like again he can't quite get it. Seems like Russell's got good pace in that red ball at the moment. Meanwhile behind they're really dropping back. Which is helping us out as we pull away out front here and open up a big gap. Okay, Kvyat's going to get him this time. He's much closer. He's got his engine turned up. And he walks past. Now can we get George Russell? It's going to be difficult because I can't quite get close enough to these two. Because the car in front has the RS, which makes it very awkward. But Russell might re overtake if he's out here straight away. Down towards turn four. But it's going to hang back. And there we go. He doesn't quite go for it. He's on the back foot, so I need to try and get past George Russell now if I can. Nice clean exit there. I'm going to get the run down the hill on Russell. He goes defensive, actually. That's going to cost him some time. And just drop him off the back of Kofiat slightly so he gets less of a toe. Here we go. This is my chance to get past. George, we're going to pull to the inside, even before DRS, there we go, very easy move, job done, up to P2, and now making it a 1-2 for the team, that's exactly what we want, now can we hold on to this, I maybe even try to pull away, also I'm looking to outstock Kvyat here today, so I need to beat him, there's no teammate alliance here today, I want to beat Kvyat in the driver's championship, and we need to outscore him, 
Right then. We're a bit too far back, I think, to get a run on Kofiat, even with the RS. But we are dropping Russell, which is good. Russell can't quite keep up. Seems like we're stretching our legs a bit. I wonder if I could just stay close through here. I might be able to have a run down towards turn four on Kofiat. But at the same time, I don't really want to pass him because we are pulling away from Russell. So I'm going to just turn the engine down a little bit. And I'm going to decide to just follow Kofiat for at least this lap. Because the gap to Russell is 1.4. So we are dropping him out of the RS range, which is perfect for us. So I'll try and wait a little bit longer and then pass Kofiat. Okay, we're closing in on Kofiat here. I'm just going to try and hang back. And then I'm going to see if I can get him out of here. Through turn 1, turn 2. And now turn 3. Like Kofiat is doing a good job of just getting the good exit. And getting just enough momentum to stay in front. So I can't quite get him. Okay, let's see again. That was a better exit. I'm a little bit closer this time. I may just have a chance. Kofia does keep getting those good exits, which is really helping him out. But this time we are going to get the run. We are close enough. I'm going to try and go around the outside of my teammate. Inside for the next one. Side by side. Just going to put the squeeze on and there we go. We get the move. And we're going to get the DRS as well for good measure. That should hopefully keep us ahead. Kofia is trying to get back past, but no way through. So we hit the front, we've got a nice gap to George Russell, 2.8 seconds. Now, do we have the pace to shake off Kofiat? Let's find out. Good pace, matching our personal best. Missing out right at the end, and Kofiat actually pits, so there we go, pressure's off. That's pretty much on target for the one-stop strategy. But these tyres still have plenty of performance left as we pick up our first extension. Kofiat going to the hard tyres, quite conservative, but he always has to go for the hard tyre, Kofiat, to be fair to him. We're going to stay out and stretch it out to that medium tyre later on. Pace is still good on these. Tyre wear pretty nice as well. Russell pits as well. So it's me staying out a little bit longer on these. But I've still got the pace. I'm matching my personal best. I'm going to stay out and just go for it. Russell on the hard tyres as well. Oh, accidental miss. Double shift there. Double down shift. That almost cost me. We just about caught that. On the way, we'll continue on our way. Just lost a little bit of time there, but we should be okay. Much better than that from us. After that mistake on the last one, I have to turn the engine up just to recover a bit of time. And we are going to clock up a personal best. There we go. To be fair, the pit window is now open, really. And the mediums won't be a problem to get to the end. But I'm still setting good pace on these. So there's no reason for me to get off them. Because, yeah, it isn't really catching me on the fresh hards. Because they're just a really hard compound. They're not the tyre you want to use around here. And Russell's taking second place from Kofiat, I've just realised. So... Looks like those two are going to be in a scrap, and the one-two isn't so secure anymore, which is a shame, but... Oh well, as long as I win and I take points off my teammate, at this point, that's what I care about. All right, we're going to pit now. I'm going to bring my stop forward by one lap. Just because I can, I feel like I don't need to stay out an extra lap, there's no risk. And uh, we can rejoin the lead on fresh medium tyres quite comfortably. Russell and Kofiat lost a bit of time battling, so we should be okay. Standard stop from the boys will do. There we go, 2.1. The gap to Russell was 22.7. At one point, it was 21.1, about two laps ago. So we have actually pulled away because of the battle. Here we go. And there's Russell now going through turn one. He's not even close. And we've got the medium tyres on. So very comfortable now. We just got a cruise to the finish. Half race distance. We've got half the race to go. And we've got some nice, fresh boots. It's looking good now. Hopefully, both myself and Kofi can finish the race. Knock on wood, and uh, we can obviously make it because I want to score the points as a team and really end the season strongly. But at the minute, it's looking good, and I'm going to probably get 10 points on my teammate, which is going to really help out in terms of the championship going into the last race. And also, we're going to claw some points back on Perez, which is also important. Purple middle sector. I am on for a personal best. It won't be a purple up, though. I believe the fastest lap is a 1-7 dead. Actually, no, there we go. We do take it. For now, I don't think that's going to be definitive. We're going to have to do better than that. But I'm going to basically wait until the end of the race when the car is really light. And we'll try and go for another one. But the minute, nice five second gap to Russell. Kofiat doesn't seem to have the pace to keep up with him. So a 1-3 for us we'll have to do. Here we go then, my last roll of the dice. I'm on a better lap. This should improve my fastest lap. Let's see what it is across the line. Yeah, it doesn't matter, Jeff. Not too concerned about that, to be honest. Well, there we go. We pick up another track extension, but a 107.1. Hopefully that lap will be enough. I'm now going to just cruise to the finish and save what's left of the engine for the final race in Abu Dhabi. 
Verstappen takes away the fastest lap. 107.1. And he gets into third place by doing so. So he must have had DRS assistance. Right. We've got a challenge to try and beat that lap on the last lap. So I'm going to save fuel and see if I can beat that. I want to get that extra point to help myself against Perez in the Drivers' Championship. Oh no, Kafiat's out right on the last lap. Damn it. That's not what we wanted. Worst case scenario. I've got to focus though and try and get this fastest lap there myself. A bit of lag going on because of the retirement from Kafiat. the smoothest exit this is going to be really really marginal I'm going to keep it super tight to the line let's see if it's enough check it flag we are going to win at Brazil and it's not enough but it doesn't matter fantastic you've won the Grand Prix that's a fantastic performance from Ferrari it hardly looked in doubt Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? What do you think made the difference between this weekend and last weekend? Appreciate your time. Right, so the final results are in and surprisingly, Max Verstappen finished down in 14th place. So I do wonder if there was maybe a bit of contact between Verstappen and Kvyat. We also did pick up the fastest lap. That little push right there managed to give, get, just get us over the line and give us the fastest lap. So maximum points for us today. George Russell P2 and Bottas picking up a surprise podium for McLaren in third. Then we've got Hamilton fourth, Perez fifth, Vettel sixth, Albon seventh, Sainz in eighth, Guys EP9 and then Giovinazzi running out the top 10. Raikkonen misses on the points along with Norris, Hulkenberg, Verstappen, Stroll, Leclerc, Magnussen, Grosjean and Ricardo with Kafia. The only retirement here today in the Grand Prix, which is very unfortunate. But considering the lack of reliability upgrades, it's been very impressive. And in terms of the Drivers' Championship, we overtake Kafia quite convincingly. And there were 13 points clear going into the last race. So we're probably going to get that fourth place now because of that alone. And we're still 12 points behind Perez. So... We'll see what happens. It could still happen, but we are going to need to pr probably win the race and hope that Perez doesn't get in the top five. And in terms of the constructors after that race, we are now well and truly confirmed the second place in the championship, which is good. So overall, a good day at the office today and uh, no complaints on mine as we scored yet another race win and end the season very strongly for Ferrari. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a big fat like on it and also subscribe if you are new for daily Formula One content. And also guys, turn on notifications to not miss any future content from me. But that is it from the race today into Lagos and I'll see you guys in the next episode for the finale of season five at Abu Dhabi but until then guys it's goodbye from me